Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success Demonstration for Restaurants. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to manage vendor relationships, enter purchase orders, review the accounts payable and aging reports, and pay vendor bills. I'm going to go ahead and assume the role of back of house manager. Today we'll focus on a store level purchase from vendor scenario. I want to be sure to call out the items to order. NetSuite can prompt and help you generate purchase orders quickly and in bulk based on levels and thresholds that you've set or that the system calculates for you. In the shortcuts dropdown, I'm going to select vendors, which will give me a list of all of my current vendors. I could drill into any one of these vendors to see an entire history, but I'd like to get a quick look at key information about this vendor. So I'll click the dashboard icon for sweet foods. From the vendor dashboard, I have an overall view of vendor information, including key performance indicators around purchases, AP balances, and any overdue amounts. I'd like to highlight that we have vendor master data in the upper left, vendor specific KPIs front and center, and the top items I purchase from the vendor on the lower left. I can also run vendor specific reports or drill into specific historical transactions with a click of a button. I can even configure my dashboard depending on how I measure my vendors. These vendor-specific dashboards are useful when managing the relationship on the phone or during internal meetings or during the vendor selection process. These vendor features put the power into my hands as the operator so I can effectively drive down my cost of goods sold and manage my restaurant purchases. Now let's walk through the process of entering a new purchase order for Sweet Foods in NetSuite. While I'm on the vendor dashboard, I can select the Enter Purchase Orders link from the Transactions section to begin the process. Since I'm hitting this link from the vendor dashboard, there's no need to enter any vendor information about Sweet Foods except what items I'm interested in purchasing at this time. Note that I have an option to create a purchase order based on my previous order with this vendor by selecting Autofill. Notice when I select all of this, all of the line item fields on the purchase order automatically populate with the information stored on the item record definition. I'll now go ahead and add an additional item, Skim Milk. A couple of fields to highlight on the purchase order line. NetSuite lets me know how many items I have on hand and what the expected price is for the item. Quantity pricing and other automations are linked in the item record. It populates the default purchasing unit of measure. NetSuite allows you to manage multiple units of measure and the conversions between each unit. Note that the PO is approved. Via the workflow tool, NetSuite allows configuration of the approval process based on specified criteria. In the upper left, I'll click the arrow next to the blue Save button and select the Save an Email option to directly save and email this purchase order to Sweet Foods. Now I'll navigate to the Communication tab on the purchase order so I can see all communication for this purchase order in one place. The NetSuite mobile application has full functionality for your business needs. As an example, your back of house manager can easily receive their purchase order on their phone and attach the receipt. Notice the reminders. I still have all my dashboard functionality right at my fingertips. I'll then go to my purchase orders. The purchase orders will be ready to receive in NetSuite. I'll now record the receipt quantity and update the price. At this time, from my phone, I can also attach a photocopy of the pink slip provided by my vendor for validation and record keeping. I'll then select Save to receive this purchase order in NetSuite. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.